All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Men of War Assault Squad 2. Kind of feels like we're back in 2015, 2016. We're going to be playing a mission made by Red Dot Black Square on a map also made by him. And I got to say, one of the highest quality maps I've seen for Omaha. And that's why we're playing it today. I will link the mod in the description. Highly suggest you go check it out. Let's go. All right. We have about 30 minutes. And I'm going to pause it real quick. About 30 minutes to try and get through the German defenses before their armor arrives. Uh, not going to go into details about the historical uh, significance here, but obviously uh, German High Command had the uh, the Panzers, the tanks, kind of far away from uh, this area as they expected um, the Allies to land near Calais, which was a way smaller area between England and France and landing in Omaha. So we have about 30 minutes before the Germans are going to show up with their heavier armor, and we'll probably not make it off the beach if we last if we take that long. Now, luckily, we do have some stuff ourselves. We have a couple of Sherman tanks who managed to get ashore, and we have a ton of extra Ranger reinforcements to try and help us take the beaches. So with that being said, uh, let's get right into it. We're going to send our units forward, which will take me a quick second to get everybody ordered up forward. And make sure that they're always going to dismount their boats. We'll have our uh, our actual guys on the beaches, etc. We'll have them actually on free move. Because there's so many infantry units that we have to micromanage here, it would be basically impossible for us to do so. We'll give our howitzer uh, a target further back to try and at least stop their uh, heavier artillery, uh, namely the Flak 88s, from doing too much damage. And here our men are about to land on the beaches. We'll make sure our Sherman start heading forward slightly as our mortar and our infantry is now arriving our howitzer is engaging our men are landing on the uh, beach here that we have secured i'm trying to get them forward a little bit there's a lot of rangers per boat i think there's close to like 30 to 40 dudes in these boats so the the frames are going to be a little bit less than perfect uh, however, at this point, I feel like everybody who has ever seen a Men of War Assault Squad 2 video basically knows what to expect uh, frame-wise, especially when there is quite literally hundreds of men on the screen at the same time. It is physically impossible, uh, unless you probably run a computer only owned by uh, the American Space Association, uh, to run this game at a high frame rate. But with that being said, we have just over 30 minutes left to go. Our Shermans are armed with Willie Pete if I select it right there. And I think my first goal will be to try and take out some of the infantry in the bunkers here. Let's push our Shermans up even more so. And on the right side, we're pushing them up, and we have to make sure our howitzer stays on target. We haven't taken out this 88 yet. It's reloading at the moment. Let's see if we can get this next shell to land anywhere nearby round is out incoming and oh not even halfway close oh lord all right initial units are engaging our men on the beach should get into action like i said there are so many men on the beach that would be almost nigh impossible for me to micro them all so i've just set it to uh move at will for the infantry which normally i don't really like to use uh, because I tend to want to micro them, but in this situation, it's going to make more sense to have the AI take over uh, that job. Obviously, Willie, Pete, and Rob's absolutely brutal. Every particle can have the uh, the chance to set infantry and uh, bushes of, on fire. That was a bad shot. We hit the... Ooh, wow. He, our Sherman on the left got hit by something. Oh, look, there's an 88 back here. Okay, we need to watch out for that. Guys, come on, move away from the Sherman. It's, it's a freaking... It's gonna explode soon. You're just standing around it like ants trying to ruin your family's picnic. So on the right side, our men are pushing up. We do have multiple bunkers back here. Targeting this big one back there with... Really oh, man! Oh, that took out a large amount of people on the left. We do have one more boat to unload. Which is a good thing, because we're going to need every man possible here. As you can see, we already lose two Shermans on the left side. Our men are coming off the boat. We'll get the extra crew to unload as well. Normally, I don't think they would be used in the combat on the beaches. They would be uh, 
uh, just, I guess they would be navy, right? If they were assigned to these little landing craft. But here, they're actually just extra rangers that we might as well use in our conquest of the beaches. Now, our men on the beach are being held back by these machine gunners. Get out of the way of the freaking tank, idiot! You're gonna get run down, and you're gonna be mad, and you're dead. Well, I guess you can't be mad, but you know what? I love some more Willie Pete. There's a meaning sign right here. We're gonna have to say uh, no to that as we just push on through. I'm trying to find out where to use some Willie Pete. Actually, some of these houses here on the right side might be a decent contender for some Willie Pete. I'm trying to get rid of some of the German defenders. As we are pushing through, we've taken down some of their machine gun nests. There is still, I think, a mortar just over here. There's some heavier anti air on the right side. All right, that has been uh, hit with some Willie Pete. Let's push our Sherman up here. On the left, having a hard time. There's still, I believe it might be a machine gun. Okay, never mind. It's just a regular machine gunner, not a, a stationary one. But our men are still being mowed down at the moment. Trying to get our men to cover out here, but there isn't a lot of cover to be used. And the Shermans that were supposed to, if anything, support the advance here are, uh, are all dead. Which is sort of realistic, because the, the, the Sherman, the Double D, or the Duplex Drive, the ones that were nicknamed the, uh, I think, the Duck Shermans, or the Donald Ducks, if I'm not wrong. I haven't said that in such a long time. Um, they, uh, most of them sank uh, either due to, I think, uh, mechanical errors or just getting shot by German artillery. But, you know, two Shermans still live, and that's what we're going to have to deal with here uh, with the enemy defenses, considering they're... Oh, that was an anti-tank front right there. There's still going to be a lot of uh, anti-tank and also machine guns to deal with here. So we're going to have to figure out a way to get our Shermans to live through that. Initially, our men are doing pretty good. Left side is is not doing that hot. Maybe time for us to move more right and have our um, our men push the right side, considering we're actually doing pretty okay over there. Uh, we'll have to get this guy out of the truck or into the truck and have him move the truck up for uh, for some ammo. Oh, we lost a dude back here. Let's get him on the mortar. Move the truck back. Resupply the artillery. All right. And that's kind of close, but, you know, whatever, it works. And we'll put the artillery... Hopefully this will reload. If not, we're... Oh, we might have, we might have to put the crate down. Let's just grab the crate real quick. Actually, we'll just do this. Wait, I have to get a guy in here now? God dang it. Oh, really? Don't break... Oh, come on. Oh, whatever. That was... That was just a very a very annoying exercise right there. Let's not talk about that one again. So we are losing a lot of our men here. I need to start worrying about them a little more. The AI, definitely not uh, as careful with the, AI, with the soldiers as I would be. Losing a lot of men. Those That quad 20 that's up here in the machine gun nests are going to be issues. Shermans are pushing up. I'm trying to find my other Sherman, which is down here at the beach. Let's try and uh, get rid of this. There's a machine gunner in there. There's a guy in front, in front of me here as well. 26 minutes remaining. Not doing the worst. I think we're still doing fine. There is like a mortar dude right here. Why aren't we grenading this guy? All right, grenade out. And he is going to be one dead German. That's good. All right, on the other side of the world here, and by world, this means the bunker, there is a German somewhere in this smoke barrage. There he is. Oh, he's right here. Dude, these guys are just constantly, I guess the mortars might be out of ammo, but. All right, that's gonna take out that German. There's a new German on the mortar? Are you serious? We just took it out. Oh, well, we're going to have to throw to another grenade on there, because that's getting uh, slightly worrying. All right, good. Our mortars push up some more. Left side completely annihilated. Those guys were... Uh, yeah, let's pull us off the front of the beach here and pull them more towards the right side. It makes more sense to just go for the break through here. Have to take out as many of these machines as possible. Stop them. Oh, is that gun man? Uh, I don't think it is, but let's just make triple sure. Okay, we're taking out the guns, the crew on the triple A who are the, who aren't looking this way. I think they might have a too high angle of attack to actually uh, try and hit us. They probably can't aim their gun down enough. 
Alright, which is good, because that would have been really, really good. Cool. Oh, no. What just happened? That was a large, large explosion. I don't see any... Oh, it might have been the 88 hitting us there, or the 105. We're really, like, close together, so we're going to have to get some of these guys to spread out, grab some guys in squads, send them forward here, and uh, try and do some work. We're going to have to actually work on our AI skills here, or on our micro skills, because the AI is... Uh, yeah, not really doing a great job so far, which is obviously not to be expected. I didn't expect the AI to be a great job, but I was hoping that I'd have to do a little bit less work than I have to do right now. Let's push them up as we try and get through the right side here. Our goal, our goal is just to kill all the Germans uh, on the map. We might as well start off by just facing, forcing them off at one side of the map, and then we can always come in behind them after we clear them out here. So. Let's move our guys up to the bunker. This is, really reminds me of uh, Medal of Honor. There's a German right here somewhere. Oh, he's just in the bunker. Shoot him. He's laying prone. I guess we're throwing a grenade in here. Anytime you feel like throwing a grenade, buddy. All right, that's him. Shoot him. Oh, he just threw a grenade back. Shoot him. I know he's a veteran sniper, but this guy can't live forever. Oh man, this is not doing, come on, come on. Oh, this guy is getting a iron cross here, Jesus. Okay, we finally took him out. Now Wooly Pete is landing close to me, my, my, my dudes. My, Wooly Pete's close, landing close to my dudes. This isn't going very well. Separate them a little bit here. Okay. Question is, can we get in here? There's definitely Germans around. Frag coming out, and we'll push up right up to the frag grenade. Hits, there we go. All right, we got some more Germans on the right side. I don't know if my Sherman can make it up this hill. If it could, it'd be perfect, but yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen. So we're gonna have to just push on the left side of this fortification area. Have the infantry deal with the 88. We'll have these guys push up. Okay, there's a German right up here. Oh, this one shoots him. Oh, grenade launcher. I thought that could be coming in useful later on. Can we get a frag on the air? Yeah, we can. This guy in the top left is just running around. So surprised he didn't die. What? All right, Ranger Matthew Parker. You have been given the task of utmost importance. You have succeeded in the task. Did he? You absolute idiot. I don't know how that just bounced away from him. Oh! Well, Matthew, I take back what I said. You did a good job. Good job, Matthew. If your name is Matthew and you're listening, you're like, well, how do you know, how do you know my name? Well, because the character's name is Matthew. Running our boy forward. Our boy Matthew. Get a grenade out on this guy over here. This actually kind of reminds me of that scene from Saving Private Ryan. They're the, out, the listening outpost. Or the radar. Oh, that's a, that's a 20 mil. Okay. Okay, we need to take some inventory of our dudes here, because I don't want to lose any more than we have to. And uh, try and take them off of the automatic walking commands. Because I've got to get them all together in some uh, squads here. Okay, let's take these guys on the right. Have these guys move into this position. And then our Sherman can move up to the left a little bit. Keep these guys in cover over here. And now you guys gotta start working on these enemies here, boys. I think that's our mortar landing with Wooly Pete, doing some good work so far. Kind of shame that's gonna be out of ammo soon, but whatever. We can give it. Uh, we can just use them as infantry after that, so it'll work out either way. All right, let's break through the barrier here. Where's this one position? Oh, it's just a mortar. Again. There's lots of mortars back here. I guess I did expect lots of mortars on a D-Day mission, so. All right, we've secured this on the right side. Let's push up. There being one or two more Germans right here. I just saw them. Where is where's this guy? It's right here. Kill him. Oh. Why do you have, why do you have a Springfield? A Ranger with a Springfield in 1944? All right, frag out. Alright, come on. Finish this dude. He's he's alive still. No prisoners. This is D-Day. I don't think we're taking any prisoners. Shoot him! 
What's happening? Game. Come on, let's go. I, I physically am dumbfounded by what's happening. Oh my god, that took way too long for the game to react to that. All right. The smoke might have caused that issue right there. Anyhow, uh, we can send these four dudes to push up. We'll take out this mortar over here in case it does provide any more uh, issues for us. We'll just uh, knock him with a frag if he doesn't even get shot right there. Frag out. Our Shermans are still alive, which I think is the most important thing at the moment. To keep our actual armor alive. It's going to be really annoying otherwise to try and deal with some of these fortifications. Uh, we'll grab some of these rangers, have them there, grab these boys. Trying to just separate them a little bit. Uh, we'll grab these five dudes. Add them there. And now we're... Oh, nice. They're taking out the gunner crew on that uh, 105. Can we put a dude in this 20 mil, steal it, and then use it against the Germans here? If it's still... Oh, it's actually repaired. Nice. Turn around. Hopefully this is good enough to reverse. Looks like the bunker might just be too high to be used against. Okay, it's it's good to be used against targets in the distance. It's not against targets that are lower than it because of the way the system has been built around it, the, the concrete. So let's push the Shermans up. Infantry push up as well. And yes, it is weird for me to say Shermans because I am technically Sherman as well. Um, I think I feel like I've already gone over my name like 15 times or 50,000 times right now, but. If anyone still cares to know, it's my surname and surname, not my surname, it's my surname in Dutch translated to uh, basically English because you guys would have such a hard time pronouncing my real last name, um, but I figured Sherman made more sense. So there you go. In case you didn't know, a little bit of uh, the Shermanator trivia for you. There's a Flak 88 right here. These guys are going to be in an awkward position. I do like these cars. They're awesome. Our Sherman is going to push up around here. Do we have Billy Pete left? Oh, hell yeah, we do. Well, I was going to think of, uh, we'll hit this Flak 88, which is kind of entrenched in a good position. What if we hit the tree? No. I said, what if we hit the tree, and the tree might cause the shell to explode, sending particles flying? What? Damn it, it didn't even do anything. I was really hoping they would send some particles flying and take out the, the crew, perhaps. All right, we're sending a couple of rangers for it. Let's go, boys. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. You guys are going to deer here. Kobe! Nice. Good hit. Now, there's the machine gunner up there. We did take out the enemy 88. Obviously, obviously, that's not even English. Obviously, it gives us a little bit of freedom right there. We'll push the Rangers up to this uh, 251 half track as we have 16 minutes left. We have just about half the time left here in this mission today to finish what we have to do. Oh, these guys are actually getting ammo, so it makes sense to keep them on this thing for the time being. Just to have uh, some... No, no, no. What are you guys doing? Get them... Where did the mortar go? Right here. Get on it. Right. Mortar. Push up. No, don't attack that at all. Alright, you guys flank. Once again, I gotta say, this map is such a ridiculous high quality, by the way. I um, I don't recommend this to anyone with a bad computer, because I think your computer can have an absolute shit fest. Because it is such a high quality map, like graphic wise, it is actually ridiculous how high quality Men of War can be. Especially the buildings and the trenches here, like this just looks fantastic. Kind of makes me want to jump into some armor. Uh, oh, that's not good. I think we just got hit by the 88 on the other side. Yeah, we did. Can we hit that from here? Can we hit it? A load AP. Oh, that's going to suck. It's going to be right onto our flank, isn't it? Okay, we're going to have to jump out of this tank for right now. And we'll repair it uh, for the time being. Any repair in here? Boy, bud. Do you have any room in inventory? No, you don't. Okay, anyone else? Okay. 
15 minutes left. It's getting it's getting a little bit scary. I thought it was going to be a relatively easy mission to complete, but it's getting a little bit scary now. Uh, or time-wise, I mean. So we have to get rid of these Germans right here. Is this William Pete or is it Smoke? Alright, let's try and hit this uh, trench line right here. My mortar here is actually out. Is this Smoke? Definitely... I know, it might actually just be regular ammo. Sherman, what are you doing, dude? Get out of here. All right. This is being repaired. As we're trying to make our way over here. 20 mils engaging. Machine gunner is in there. There's a single dude right here. Schutze. Get a grenade out. For Schutze. Take him down. There we go. Good. All right. We've lost another member. We're pushing on without the Ranger Corporal. Seeing another squad over here. As we are definitely running out of... Uh... Oh, come on. We're running out of time here. Really expected those Shermans on the left to definitely live a bit longer for them to be a little bit more useful than they ended up being, which is very frustrating, obviously. And we're gonna have to grab some of these dudes, get them up to this bunker. Shit, ah, they both just died for no reason. That's really annoying. Oh, good freaking job. Get this guy's grenades. Oh, does he have one left? Oh, we have a couple of AT grenades. Oh, does this guy with the grenadier? Oh, sweet. That's actually really good for us. What we can do, we can... This is getting... A bit tedious here, but we can probably lob... Ooh, that guy is just paced. All right, we gotta get into this uh, other side of the map here. We gotta actually get into some some big trouble before this is gonna be over. Oh my guys are still running around like headless chickens. All right, when are we dealing? How are we dealing with this ADA on the left? It's gonna be a big question. Because it sees us right now. It's actually shooting at us at the moment. That's close. No cigar. I don't think Willie Pete's going to cut this one either. We're going to have to hope for a dark hit, but they are going to just one-tap us if they hit us. It's time for us to get into this other Sherman as well and hope that either of them can get the hit. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I right, push this one up. Look at the other Sherman. This is gonna be. This is really a bad idea to duke it out with an 88 like this, because there is not a big guarantee for me that I get the killing shot on it, considering it's such in a nicely entrenched position. There's a bunker in the way now, which is kind of good for us. I was really hoping that would hit the bunker in between. Okay, now we just have to actually kind of hurry up at the bowwood. I can make the Sherman. Get some uh, easy shots into this uh, trench right here if I move these men over. Get the 30 cal going. And the 50 on top. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Clearing out the trench one German at a time. That's a big old hit. Come on. Why aren't you engaging this thing, other Sherman? Nice! Oh, we got it. That was perfect. Now... Our Shermans have less to worry about. Obviously, this one is tracked. That's not a big issue, though, at the moment. Our big issue is going to be to clear out these defenses and uh, basically stop them from having this uh, superior terrain, which is the issue. We need to get our guys in the, in the trenches ASAP. So, our Sherman here, trying to figure out who we get some flak gun up here still. Okay, good. Can we repair this? Is this going to be going to get shot at? He might. Willie Pete, let's go. We need to hit this. Nice! That was a big hit. Took out some Germans right there, it feels like. 
Willie Pete hit the bunker, causing the incendiaries to fly everywhere. Nice! Getting the crew in the flak 38. Not is it a flak 30? Yes, it is. Are these machine gunners down? They are down. Alright, we just have 10 minutes. 10 minutes remaining. It's gonna get tight. There's a mor there's a machine gunner and a mortar position. Uh, those are down. There is another soldier right here in the trench. We'll take him out pretty easily. Our Sherman here is working or being worked on as we're pushing men through trenches here. And we're trying to flank around with this squad. All right, grenade uh, load. And grenade launcher. We'll just start doing a lot of micro right now, trying to win this battle. Grenade going out, taking two more down. Vehicle is repaired, which is going to basically half deliver us a victory here. Hopefully we can get over these trenches. Sherman, move up. Okay, good. We're going We're going well so far. This could have been a lot worse. Would it take out this machine gun bunker? Okay, we're trying to deal with the Germans in these trenches. Come on, what are we doing? Take out the 20 mil. These guys all move up to the next building. Please hit, oh. Nowhere near, nowhere near what he needed to do. That's perfect, absolutely perfect. He, he, he died fighting for the glory of the US right here, for the freedom of Europe. That was a perfect rifle grenade, if I may say so. I'm not really sure how this guy isn't dead yet, but let's just melee him to death. There we go, he's dead. The guy's here in the bunkers. Oh, he threw a grenade into his own men! What was brutal? Oh man, that was horrible to watch. He just killed his own dude with that grenade. We're pushing through the trenches here, one step at a time. It's gonna get really tight to see if we can actually complete this part of the objective. There's just a guy standing up here who's hitting at us with his stupid rifle. Our Shermans have to really get rid of more Germans and faster too. We're taking grenades left, right, and center. There's still annoying German throwing grenades from the trench. This guy's just shooting us through the trench right now. I'm pretty sure. Uh, the guy up top just shot us from the trench and we can't shoot back at him. That was a shitty grenade. All right, let's take out this dude. We have less than like two squads of, uh, less than two squads remaining at the moment to try and take over the defenses. I think we have exactly like two squads at this point, pretty much. Trying to get everyone that we can to move up as we don't have much time left. There is, there's someone on this machine gun right here? There is, there is a guy on this machine gun. Have to move him. Is this guy gonna rotate the machine gun? Okay, thank God he's not. He was probably at the edge of the rotation. Okay. Damn it! There's a machine gun back there. That's a way to take out. This machine gunner needs to be annihilated by our machine gun. Good. Trenches are very well defended. I'd argue that this rear point is going to be more important uh, to the actual attack than the guys in the front here. I mean, we can take those out without too much ha uh, hassle. Obviously, it's going to take a before he dies. Take out some grenades. Oh, he died. He died to death is what I was almost going to say. You got to be kidding me, right? With that. That was just a joke, the way this guy just died. All right, Willie Pete. All right, we gotta be working on some of these Germans here, boys. Every guy we take out right now is uh, is one less to worry about. Taking out grenades here. Willie Pete coming out. Hopefully just kill some Germans in the trenches. Ooh, that's pretty good. Oh, almost got friendly fired, literally friendly fired by the grenade, or by the Willie Pete. Please get away from me, sir. You're burning us all alive. Kill him. Oh, 
Are we, are we, no, 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 no. We got you guys. You got to push. Uh, we're going to push through the wrong side. All right. Well, we are now dealing with the final Germans. We're also dealing with the final minutes of this battle before the Germans are going to show with the reinforcements. Thank God these guys don't have a lot of Panzerfaust or AT because we would have been in such a big trouble uh, right here if they did. That Willie Pete hopefully caps, uh, caps some of those guys, catches them off guard, and uh, catches them on fire as I'm trying to deal with these remaining Germans that are very heavily entrenched in really good positions. All my guys here are alive as we're pushing them through the trenches. There is only a few left on the... On this side right here. Get in the trench and I know what the hell you're doing. Idiots. Get in the trench. Do something. You're standing in the middle of the thing right here, dude. Oh, that's this is all really bad. Heal this guy up. That TNT. Wow, I can't believe that he died from that. Right, we've got to, at this point, just literally use our Shermans to grab the last few dudes that are alive. There's actually a couple of Germans way here at the beach. We can take these out without too much hassle. It's the guys up here that I'm worried about the most. We can't just run our dudes in here, most likely. We're going to have to try, though, because we don't have much time left. Why would you run up like that? Get down! Use your weapon! No. Damn it. Alright. Throw a grenade out. Officer right here. Three minutes left. We have literally just a few dudes left alive to try and make this happen. We are getting grenades out. That better hit this dude. No, it didn't. That sucks. We're going to basically run this Sherman up the road right here. Three minutes remaining. Pushing over here. Trying to use this wall for cover. That's bad. That's bad. Grenade out. Perfect grenade. They got the machine gun and crew. Switch to the sniper. Or not the sniper. We're actually getting sniped. We're shoot, shot by somebody. There's a sniper up here somewhere. Take him out. Okay, there's only one German left up here. He's got an MG42 though, which is going to be an issue if we don't take him out. We're also being boarded right now. I'm also being sniped by guy up the hill. We took him out. The sniper up here. Yes, sir. Trying to bob and weave, bob and weave, move, move, move. I right, were taking them out. There's not many guys left. There's also not much time left. We have just under just under two minutes left to go. As we're trying our hardest to try and make this work. I have to micro individuals right now very effectively. Very good, very good. Move up before he can get up. He's down. One more dude left. We just have an AT grenade. Thirty and one minute thirty seconds. Copy. He's down. Move up to the mortar position. Oh man, this is really happening right now. Okay, they're down. He's down. Trying to work on the final Germans here. There's just a few left alive. We don't have much time. He's down. He's down. 
30 seconds. I think we have literally just secured the beach. There is no more Germans left alive on the map. I'm not sure if we, uh, if there's any objective that there is on the map. It doesn't seem like there is any, but... Oh, it says capture the town. Well, we have captured the town. We've captured the coastal defenses in almost James Bond fashion with... Well, I paused it two seconds too late, but with four... Basically five seconds left. The entire map has been clear as far as I can see. Of enemies, which is ridiculous. We're going to let the timer run out here and see what happens. But we have done it. We've secured the beaches with four men remaining and two Shermans remaining. That was ridiculous. Holy shit. I hope you guys enjoyed. Love to see you guys in the next one. And let me know what you guys thought of this mission. Cheers.